because of the, the sign, the picture, so it's hard to tell what's straight or not. What's straight in this house? It's an old house. Not even that. No, it's <laughs> not straight. Shall we show the socks? <laughs> My stinky socks. <laughs> hey folks, and welcome to the Abbey and Anna show. We have moved locations <laughs> approximately three metres. <laughs> it's at least four. Really? I think so. I was never any good at I can distances. fall down twice too, over there. <laughs> 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 like the caterpillar like we the saw the <laughs> Anyway, we have moved purely because we're sick of dealing with the dark. Um, and anyway, that's where our Christmas tree was, and that's where we started. And it's not Christmas anymore. No. In fact, it's actually July. <laughs> wow. So it's going. Anyway, we want to welcome you back. We've had a period of silence, although it has been not that silent for us. It's been very busy and intense. So we've decided to sit down, grab some air to fly our cordial, and have homemade. a chat. Homemade. There are good things in life. So we've decided to sit down and have a chat about our year so far. It's going to be open, it's going to be all over the place, but it's going to be fun. We want to dive in deep, as we do with the Abby and Anna show. In fact, why do we even have the Abby and Anna show? Because of me. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's just the Abby show. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have the Abby and Anna show? Because we want to talk about real life in what we're trying to keep our way, and that is to at least be able to laugh about the serious stuff that goes down in everybody's life um, afterwards in a in a somewhat lighter way, because that's all we can do, right? Absolutely. We want to approach the day-to-day -day hard stuff of life that goes unseen underneath the surface perhaps bubbles up in small conversations in a light approachable way uh everything is our opinion in its own way it's, mm. a it's just it's just a conversation yeah um <clears throat> and we've taken a break from this purely because life has been like this <laughs> and now <laughs> we're back <laughs> ready Sim. to do the thing where do we start? Happy New Year, everybody! Well, no, first of all, a happy anniversary to us. I don't oh, yeah. think we're going to share the exact date, but we have <laughs> crossed the year mark of our relationship. Um, well done, <laughs> you, for keeping up with me, and well done, me, for keeping up with you. <laughs> um, and, <laughs> and I think that's a good place to start. I think we can actually now that we, you know... It's so good that I forgot that we're doing it about our year together rather than 2021. <laughs> I'm such a man. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. Wait, let's just try. <laughs> I am trying. This is me trying. <laughs> Unfortunately, we haven't been with each other for our anniversary, which is... <laughs> this is going that well. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're like, let's get out of each other's faces. No, <laughs> that was not the reason. I refuse to accept that, even as a joke. Um, it's... I, unfortunately... Well, not unfortunately, because the initial idea was a fortunate one um, to go down to the south of Italy to have a little bit of reflection time in regards to my divorce and then I well a very very unexpected um, information came through and that is that a member of my family had passed away that in itself was a whole different story not a unfortunately really I can say because it was very unexpected and very and still is very weird to deal with because it's not a straightforward somebody dies you get to know and you can cope with the grief situation um which unintentionally um from what we had planned um made my trip longer because i had to go down to germany before moving on to italy for a longer time that, than i intended um to deal with some legal proceedings um and that meant that we couldn't be with each other for our anniversary um, all by ourselves <laughs> no we were going to be 
coming back yet <laughs> no no I don't do you regret me coming back yet no no I think I I, I have come back with a slightly better mindset um, wouldn't have said so uh, probably 15 days ago <laughs> but no. yeah let's put it like this Anna was away for a month and a half we had a proper big build up to it um, you know you mentioned a member of her family passed away very unforeseeable, unpredictable circumstances. Mm. Um, you had to sort some stuff out in Italy. Trying to travel during COVID is really hard, but not hard because it's just wading through the stuff um, and then actually doing it. Um, do we have to close this door? I think we do, it's pouring yeah. down. <laughs> also, it's got really dark. Well, it's uh, pouring down outside. So we've decided to put the light on. <laughs> And now everything is very orange, so we can work with it. Yeah, annoying oranges. Annoying oranges. It's not easy. Zappy. <laughs> we have lived different lives. <laughs> Travelling with COVID, as I was saying before the rain rudely interrupted, <laughs> um, was has been something that we actually want to address in a different video. Mm -hmm. um, talk about COVID, how COVID has impacted us. But yeah, so I think today we are going to, correct me if I'm wrong, be looking at the year of ourselves as opposed to time and uh, breaking that down a little bit. Break down. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, it's another tick. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Got it. I can't, uh, I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> Why do ticks exist? Bobby, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know. Oh god. Good boy. I mean never never mind COVID as a trauma. Ticks. <laughs> Ticks. Every outdoor person can relate. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye. Blah, 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 blah. So we were yet again interrupted <laughs> it's hard enough to keep hold of the thoughts in the first place a long time ago in bethlehem i saw the holy bible say maybe this is where you want to introduce that we've just brainstormed about upcoming abby and anna shows and we thought maybe you guys would like us talking about faith um so if you do, leave a comment down below and maybe also leave a question you want us to dive into. Absolutely. Um, a year ago, we became a thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> did we foresee that? No. No, we did no, not. No, we did not. Obviously, you know, we have, we have shared how we've met and how we've gone through the whole living out of the car and finally finding a home here um, situation but I fear what has been the next challenge was you know once we had moved in here it, it really everything just crashed down on us. I was gonna say did it crash or did it explode because it was a little bit of both. <laughs> yeah it was <laughs> it. <laughs> and then the calm the destructive calm yeah. <laughs> um, because we've both really hit a bit of rock bottom we didn't have to you know primarily consider where we are spending the next night where how are we going to cope with the next whatnot it was just we have a home all of our stuff is in our home and now what where who are we even where are we even where's all of this going and we've both had very, very seriously depressed times. Um, it was a bit of a ping pong game at times. It was. Like, who's doing worse right now? Who needs to, um, who needs the support to stay alive more? Um, and I fear my trip or, or that division of ours was really required in order to... Mm to flip the coin, to change <coughs> things around. And we're only, you know, I, I'm still 
This is where I've just brushed my hair. Um, on day eight of no seven, seven of quarantine, I um we're still just getting used to each other. Well, hey and there, stranger. This is as close uh to date night as it gets with the current restrictions. So, um, I thought well, I'd treat gonna you. I, I treat you and the viewers to brushed hair, um, and a clean top. <laughs> Because this is not the usual. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I like how you've come back though. Yeah. 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 It was tough. Mm. You know, the this year so far, actual physical time stretch year, yeah. as in calendar Happy year, year. <laughs> to um, now, has been uh, turbulent. <laughs> <laughs> a nice word well you know i feel like we've done good we've made a garden yeah with pots and plants and stuff we mm. have mostly finished unpacking i'm still in it but i'm yeah. still in quarantine i have three days to go no i meant from moving in um oh. <laughs> we oh. <laughs> well that yes but you we know, made a <laughs> snowman called walter <laughs> exactly he died he melted Um, I've played the ukulele a little bit. You, you wrote me some good songs. I wrote you some good songs. Yeah. Some songs. No, some very good songs. Some good songs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they've kept us going. Yeah, songs are important. How many likes do we need to get on this video for you to perform one like? It's like a hundred k. Hundred k, guys. You know what to do. Like and share this video in order for this one to perform one of the songs she has written for me <laughs> over the past half year live on this channel. Thankfully, I don't have that many subscribers. Now I'm glad that this is a small <laughs> YouTube channel. <laughs> Can I quit? Bye. <laughs> um... <clears throat> No, in all honesty, you know, I, I, it's very hard to look back at this year so far because it's an absolute blur. Mm. I think everybody can agree that winter was ridiculously long. It just mm. went on and on and on. And we like this house a lot. It's a rental. It's a barn conversion. But it's dark. It's been really cold. At one mm. point, our bedroom was five degrees. Um, as you can imagine, that, especially both of us being quite outsidey people, albeit in slightly different ways, mm. that didn't help our mental states at all. Um, <coughs> just... The wetness of the the outside, just just all of that, like you know, it was so depressing. It was heavy, man. Partnered up with COVID and the restrictions, and with our depressions, mm. um, in whatever severe stages we were in, it was just, when can we get out of here? When is this finally gonna be over? Um, and when are the plants finally growing? It yeah. was such a blessing for me, I really have to say, because before I left, I thought, this is all gonna go to waste anyway, because nobody looks after it full time on a daily basis. And you did me very proud because I came back and actually the tomatoes are growing and there's, we only have gravel in the garden, you know, considering that it is a rental, obviously the owners keep it as low maintenance as possible and we have or well, i have put a lot of work into it and you've kept it going and coming back it was just like oh it's so beautiful everything that can grow is growing a little bit wild but that doesn't matter because we are wild <laughs> <laughs> um yeah yeah no you know and and basically i feel like we're jumping around a lot but actually yeah. that's okay because it's it's been very all over the place anyway. Yeah. We had our ups and downs. Um, <clears throat> what are some ups? So yeah, the garden. I mean, there was quite a bit of snow during winter. Mm. We made the most out we of it. We well. did. We did all right, you know. Mm. Um, we enjoyed watching the Bake Off, eating lots of popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, all of this stuff. And do you know what? We've, like, you specifically called it hibernation. And um, that's really what it's been. It's been just hiding yeah. away. You know, yeah. for me, very creative in, in the sense of wild. So I've had all the ideas. Um, spring comes, 
literally it feels like you left before spring even properly hit mm, absolutely and now it's like summer and it's yeah. like proper summer <laughs> yeah totally so um you know our, you went away and did your stuff um hard stuff good stuff i went away to scotland lake district wales back home then to lake district again um and now we're like here and it's oh i did the dartmoor way you did. That happened yeah. this year. That happened before I went away. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> that still was like winter though. That was also that was a massive achievement for you doing a fully on road camping. Mm. Yeah, that's been that was a big one. Big focus for me this year yeah. is overcoming my anxieties around wild camping. So I did a I mean I've done a bit of wild camping before. I've mm. explored it in the different stories you guys have probably seen, but did a day, did a night on Exmoor myself, then Dartmoor Way was five days wild camping. And then up in the lakes for my birthday a couple of weeks ago, while I camped at Angleton, I think I've uh, got the knack to the yeah to the degree yeah. yeah. So I've had some good mountain adventures. Yeah, yeah. I think mountain adventures for you also always come with learnings. Mm. There's always I would say a lot <laughs> of growth that has happened this this calendar year really. These last six months have been so challenging but thankfully and i would say that is because we've had each other in our lives um we've managed to to grow and learn a lot um where our own abilities are what our own boundaries are where we really have to rely on each other and where we can help each other and pull each other forward um yeah no i agree you know I, I think actually coming back to that the mountains are where like i I learn my lessons and stuff like we talked about it that's where it's on the trail it's outside that mm. things really become interpretable for me that the lessons really sink in it's like the language of nature is the language that i understand mm. um we have endless conversations particularly at the moment um about all sorts of things but that is also one of our strengths is communication. We mm. talk a lot and we have to keep going back to the fact that we're prioritizing us and that's a daily recommitment mm. because if we don't, yeah. the focus so easily shifts onto the demands of wild, to the family demands, to blah, 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 blah. And then we get caught up in these systems mm. and it doesn't mean that they're not important, but in order for us to actually be the best that we can be mm. in everything else, we need to be honing in on us and our sacred safe space Grounded and exactly yeah and we're trying to figure out how to do that in the best possible way we're trying to figure out what's in our toolbox individually yeah. and together so that we can support each other when either of us is struggling um but also together when we're both struggling or mm. when we're both just about okay and it's it's just constantly like this <laughs> like we're both highly sensitive big emotioned people mm. there's mental health in the mix just as there is with everybody albeit slightly differently for both of us yeah. and it's it isn't just a case of two lives coming together and building one life it's a case of two very big hearted passionate individuals who have been twisted and mowed over by life who are trying to push back through the soil and get some sunlight and figure out what actually makes us thrive. Yeah. But to do that together and Put to enable all of the each other. Trauma aside, exactly all of the conditioning, all of the societal kind of demands, etc., and just really help each other to look within ourselves mm. in order to be ourselves rather than finding that from somewhere external. Yeah. Um or from memories that are just not good because mm. whatever has happened to each and every single one of us has an impact and not necessarily a good one and that is so much unpicking and so much work um, and it, it only takes a tiny little bit of extra life stuff that can tip it. tip it and make us crumble and then it has to be a whole okay we're going to pick this up right from the bottom because if it's not done properly, you're just building on something that is not grounded and, what do you call it, just stable. Mm. It's just, if you just brush over things, 
at one point you will have to revisit them and I think that is something that is com coming up for us on a daily basis at the moment where it's just like no I am having an emotional reaction to something that Abby said but it's not because of what Abby said but maybe because she has used one word that I am connecting with some traumatic experience from the past or vice versa and then it's like hang on stop you know we got to talk about this because we have to understand each other in order to move on without having to constantly go back to those mm -hmm. moments mm -hmm. i think this is an opportunity as well to say so we've said you know we would like to do a film discussing mm -hmm. faith and mm -hmm. answering some questions that people might have same situation for covid we've just touched on that we're going to do a mm -hmm. video about covid so any questions you have there on how that's impacted us and wild and, and our situation bearing in mind anna's family is like here there and everywhere um and then also we're touching on it now mental health we're mm. hoping to do a video about that because well this channel is all about mental health and open yeah. discussions and the abby and anna show is part of that you know we want to be open and authentic mm. about our life journey mm. to the degree <laughs> wait, that's Bobby Bobby. <laughs> um to the degree that we feel comfortable to share with the big wide world um which is censored to a degree uh, but it doesn't mean it's any less authentic no. um mm -mm. it's just well think about it flip the screen you know you're sat here you don't want to tell all of your biggest deepest darkest secrets to an online space that's very sensitive mm. but we do want to talk about mental health we do want to talk about covid we do want to talk about faith we want to talk about the hard stuff um that you know people <coughs> naturally shy away from to bring these into everyday conversations to liberate people who are perhaps feeling suppressed and like there is no community mm. where they can discuss these things mm. so just dropping that in that went yeah. on longer than i planned but <laughs> anyway that's one of my greatest skills no so. also i think it just to just to stop you but also you know add something to it <laughs> story of my life <laughs> oh you need this <laughs> cheers to that <laughs> This is only our opinion and our experiences and the emotions that have come up for us. And it is all inclusive though. I think everybody to all of the hard topics has a right to have their own opinion. And I go as far as saying that probably as extreme or non-extreme your opinion might be, you will have a reason for that something or your life in general will have got you to the point to forge that opinion and it might not resonate with everybody but as long as you understand why you have that opinion it's a perfectly valid opinion absolutely yeah you know it's that if you live that person's life in their shoes their experiences you would have the same opinion exactly so. yeah. the main thing is we don't want to hurt anybody we're just no. talking exactly just talking and drinking homemade out of our cordial cookie come on cookie no. cookie oh okay maybe bobby should share his opinion of how the year has been um it's been up and down for him he's had some really rough patches when he uh, struggled with the medication he had to get for his lungs but he has really really arrived here now <laughs> this it is, is his home it is this incredible is <laughs> because i i mean i i've only known bobby for you know well one and a half years now and <clears throat> i've never seen him as confident no. as here he uh, he is so since there was a real change in him when Penny died and um, he really struggled with just being a living being by himself without his big sister looking after he him. He was very clearly depressed. Yeah. yeah. And now he has just regained some some confidence and he is um, really enjoying the garden, which is very cute because when we sit outside... <laughs> He just <laughs> truffles around like a pig. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and we've had some funny funny moments where we've been in restaurants outside, you know, just sitting somewhere in the in the, in the garden. And Bobby, a year ago, he wouldn't he wouldn't just wander around and sniff around at the people's tables and whatnot. And now he he just has that, and it's so nice to see. Um, Getting used to the haircuts as well, which is nice. 
He's a good lad. And generally, yeah, he doesn't wee in the house anymore, which is very nice for me um, and for you. Absolutely. But I got a little bit more irritated. Absolutely. That's why it's nice for me. Because I clean it up more. No. Absolutely. No. So that's Bobby's life. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, you can tell the fact that we're struggling to talk about the last year. That <laughs> it's just, as you mentioned in the beginning, like how much do you want to share in, in such a public space? And we are trying, but a lot of it has really... I mean, we can go on and on about it. I'm very happy to say there were weeks on weeks on weeks where the only thing I managed to do was go to the bathroom, eat chocolate and drink enough tea to stay hydrated. And otherwise, I've been just a couch potato. And there have been similar episodes for you even though for you it's more like this on a daily basis <laughs> and not just a constant meal for three months. Um, I think that's the thing with, I mean, we won't go into the mental health too much mm. right now, but part of my mental health is much more erratic yeah, um, and completely unpredictable. Really. Yes. But, you know, yes, you had your period of feeling low, long period of feeling low. <laughs> I <don't> like the... <laughs> um, <laughs> Let me rephrase. But I, you know, what was I getting on? I was doing a lot of editing for a while. The thing is, it's the down season. You know, winter is the da just the down season. Like, where I am with Wild, we are with Wild at the moment, is the down season. Mm -hmm. is, it's time to edit. You know, it's time to, to do stuff. We started the One Wildlife podcast. That went out. Mm. Um, if you've watched the 2020 highlights, you know, you'll know that I sort of talked about the beginning of, of 2021 in there as well. Um Hoodie we had a successful on. hoodie sale. Exactly. They were they flew off the shelves, but we had a lot of stress around that mm. because there was issues, numbers, Brexit. issues with printing. Brexit caused a lot of trouble. But and now our current printer or our previous printer, because of Brexit and COVID, has stepped back. So we have been sourcing a new printer. So we've got a new printer for the t-shirts. That's all up and running in the next couple of weeks, which is really exciting. Um, and really. We've just been building a life. That's actually quite a lot, I think. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's just been so all over the place, just like this video, because this, this is has really been all over our, the place. <laughs> our year. But I don't think that's bad because we're not just looking at. Oh, oh, oh. We went to Cornwall, went to Flambards. Oh, that was actually, that was a highlight. It was so <laughs> funny because it. It was a we it was the worst weekend of my year. I can I hands down. We had we had gotten ourselves into a good place and we said we're gonna go to Cornwall, do some filming, have three days out where it's more Abby and Anna and less wild as such, even though we were filming. Um no pressure and we just do what we can do and we had fun but it was so windy the yes and that is only the wind <laughs> because we drove down there on the day completely out of the blue i had no clue my divorce papers came through i was like great I don't want this to impact us. You didn't know how to react to I it. I no clue whether it was throw a party or throw a... Exactly. Uh, what's, and what's this thing where people die? <coughs> Funeral. <laughs> and memorial. Yes, that's all right. Um, the day before that, actually, um, I got the news about the death in my family. So here we are going to Cornwall. I'm all over the place. I'm very irritated with the universe as well because I thought that we deserved three days off in Cornwall and um, and then the wind was so irritating that we but I mean that really hit you that really got to you because it makes the filming so impossible I was desperate I was really desperate like I had planned Cornwall sort of without asking you like mm. I was just like yeah. I, I need to go away yeah um and that's something we're learning as well is that I'm definitely somebody who needs to go and do stuff more than Anna and where I find that line of okay it's time for me to go now mm. um but anyway so we yeah we got there and I picked a couple of coastal routes was quite pleased with them but we were based down the lizard for anyone who's interested 
um, these videos will come out at some point. What the audio is going to be like, that's the question. Because it was 60 mile an hour winds, like constant winds, but really strong gusts that almost honestly almost knock you over. And it was by the middle of the first day, it was infuriating because we couldn't talk, we mm -hmm. couldn't film. Like, and we're just doing, like, what is the point in this? Um, you had all of your emotions that needed processing. I guess the fact that I wasn't blabbering away about random things that probably helped. But it, it, it distanced us mm. in a way that was really not needed. And then on that second day, um, we got to, like, a sheltered spot. And we ended up having a conversation, like, this is just not what we wanted mm. this to be. And we don't want to do another day <laughs> filming in this. Yeah, but then we got home and we were like, why don't we just order some food? Oh, and so we, we spent ages like looking for everywhere because obviously COVID makes that really difficult. And we decided something that we've really, we've never done this before, probably never again. We don't really eat like fried food and stuff, but we all decided to look at this like, was it American? Yeah. So we, we ended up having to wait for ages because they were really busy. Then there was a faff of getting the taxi person to come to us because we were at an Airbnb and they were like, oh, we'll just knock on the front door. It's like, please don't do that. And then when, by the time we got it, it was cold. <laughs> it was cold and soggy and really sad. And then somehow, I don't know what it was, but that didn't go well because I took the wrong plate or something. And it was no. just, but we were just like, you know, like so snapping insane. point. <laughs> um, and then the next morning we woke up and we just kind of like, we had a talk and then we had to laugh. Because it was like, this is just ridiculous. And then rather than going back out into the windy weather to film another third failed film. I we said, <laughs> we are going to a fun part. Flambards. <laughs> so Flambards is where me and my family used to go when we were kids. Like, it's got little pedal helicopters. And we, we're just there, like, queuing up amongst these, like, families and these kids. Like, oh, look how it says. <laughs> you got to practice your screaming. I got to earful. Um, <laughs> But it was good actually. Yeah. I like the log flume. Yeah. And it wasn't really busy. <laughs> we were just going around on the log. Oh yeah, the log flume. Yeah, and then like you, you, you just loved it to the man like, please, can we go again, please? <laughs> he's like, what? Oh, like, he's very unamused. <laughs> he's like, I've been here for seventeen years. I don't get excited anymore. I'm like, did you go around all the time in the beginning? <laughs> yeah. So that was cool more. <laughs> I have recently been doing a lot of cycling, so that's been fun. Why is that? I have a big project coming up. Stay tuned <laughs> for news near you. No, I'm working on a really big project, the biggest project Wild has ever been involved with. That's all I can say, really. It's a lot yeah. of cycling. I think mm. so, yeah. Mm. Yeah. But follow socials, newsletter, all that jazz, and you'll, you'll know. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell next to the subscription button to get notified Ring. whenever we upload a video. Thanks, guys. <laughs> So yeah, I think that rounds up our year, hey? I we mean, ended in Cornwall. When was that? Like May? <laughs> exactly. And then I went away. And now you're back. I know. There's not a lot you can compare this to. Right now she's going to make me insecure. From a relationship point of view, I think that considering how hard our first year has been, we, we're re really doing very well. Because the conversation is happening, you know, we are, if anything, getting more open and honest with each other and we're diving in deep and we're not taking shortcuts and that is setting us up for, for a long time. Second year. It can't get worse, so it's going to be better than the first year. I was going to say, what are our commitments to each other? And she's like, it can't get worse. <laughs> <laughs> what, are the com what are our commitments for the second year of us? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely committing to staying open and honest in the conversations. I think that is something that I have relearned with you. And I'm, I'm still working on the... On the trust in myself in and in us but it's something that i'm very very deeply committed to that's cool yeah case if is it case it is of interest we particularly when anna was away we started doing our commitments to each other in mm. the morning and what we're, what are our grateful moments and happy moments in the evenings just to use those as connection points um mm. 
it was really really hard the nano was way i think we hit that was our lowest low yeah that was our hardest yeah. time yeah. um a few things in particular happened there um which i shared on the patreon group which is our online community to us to a more depth i just don't think it's something i'm quite ready for us to put right out there yeah or it's necessary either Mm-mm. but um yeah the commitments are something we're, we're coming back to quite a lot at the moment um it just brings us back into us and who we are enough waffling i should probably say mine now um <laughs> <laughs> you always try to get away from the hard bit <laughs> <laughs> okay my commitment for the next year is again like like you said to stay true and honest to us and to continue holding the vision for where we're looking to steer our lives together to remain patient for that but for this year to be a year with more action rather than just the dreaming like we've talked about putting Mm. pen to paper and figuring out some some steps so committing to that yeah Yeah. i think i want to i want to um take one one of the words there um I go, I go as far as saying that that has to be one of our shared commitments is being patient mm. with each other, with the process and with, with the actions. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Tough one. For you, that's a tough one when you just want to get on with things, isn't it? Especially someone like me. My, mm. my brain moves as though the earth is spinning 10 times faster than it is. Mm. It's it, 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 in a healthy place, it's awesome, but most of the time it's too much to deal with. Mm. And, you know, we are really trying to come together. Anna's come back in, in a, I feel, the most solid and grounded space that you've been in since we've been mm. here, at least. Mm. And, you know, we are really working out what we need to be solid and secure in ourselves as individuals and as, in, as a relationship. But, you know, part of that as well is looking at wild because I am wild and wild is something we want to work on together but it's so intertwined with who I am because it's been birthed out of my deepest darkest places it's been my lifeline and my link to life and it still is um in a healthy way but it can also tip to being unhealthy Mm -hmm. and for me I'm figuring out those lines and unpicking things a bit there but also rightly so Anna keeps bringing me back to the truth that you know wild has more than doubled in size since covid first hit last march and it's a lot it's it's a, it's a huge success to celebrate but it's a lot you know and having anna on board she is the opposite to me in some ways which is amazing because where i'm frantic she's calm where i'm disorganized she's organized you know we're both creative which is awesome because that's the best thing you want in a in creative is two creative people mm-hmm. But it's, that's what works well, but that's what we're trying to bring together because we're both deeply independent people um, and just like to get on with things. And actually that's where the patience is required yeah. because we have to talk everything through from like, you know, when you're like learning to drive and you're going through like, this is the indicator. This is the... This is the, how you look over your shoulder. Exactly. Like that's where we're at. Yeah. And we have and to do that. <laughs> look, decide, act. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. Good driving. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so that's why it's a lot of talking. Mm. That's why the patience is required. But, you know, that's why we are running theme is optimism. Because, you know, we're not rushing stuff, if that makes sense. We're actually almost doing this in reverse. Like, we dove in deep. And now we're just taking a step back to be Mm. like, okay, how can we make this even more secure and Mm. set us up for even more success? Um, because it needs to be done now. Yeah, and because we yeah. both want that security. Yeah. Um, and I think we both need it for our mental health mm. in different ways. And I think maybe that is something we can dive into deeper when we talk about mental health. But we that that grounding, that solid foundation, that stability is required in order to have something to hold on to when there is that frantic stage, when there is that completely erratic mental health state or time. Um, Yeah. 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 It's good stuff. 
So I didn't actually expect to share that, but that's now happened. That is our year, all over the place. But more than anything, I'm looking forward to the next year. Me too. We are still holding on to all of the strings and now it's just up to us to sort them. Yeah. Just a little bit like you're here after I've come out back after six and a half, seven weeks. It needs a good brush and then it's all good again. Yeah, I brushed my hair once while she was away. <laughs> Steve Jobs or whoever, these people all wear one set pair of clothing. I bet they eat the same thing, you know, because there's no time to think about anything else. That's how it is with my hair brushing. Exactly. And exactly. I'm, I'm, there's no challenging, at least you didn't rip it off. Absolutely not. Out. Out of. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's all there. Yeah. I'm happy to brush it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Perfect. Great. That was my welcome home. This gift. is, this is how things work, you know, just combine the strengths of the two people that are involved in a relationship yep all right question to wrap this up okay. what has been the highlight of the last of the last year of our first year <laughs> of our first year oh that's a tough one because i feel there are a lot of highlights it's not like <laughs> <laughs> this was the highlight <laughs> I love all of the times when you make me laugh. <laughs> to swallow. <laughs> yeah, there are times where you have to swallow the things as well. Just, <laughs> just quietly, calmly. I have to say, you know, as <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I mean, talking about it all over the place. Um, there are so many things that I have loved. And, you know, looking back, our year has definitely done this. The lows were lows, <laughs> but the highs were also, they were there. They were constantly coming back. I loved our treehouse time. I loved our road trip. You know, there were so many good days. We've had so many great adventures. Um, I loved the day when we found out that we had this house. I loved the whole process of finding this house, even though... The whole process was very low because it was very challenging for us to figure out what we needed from our future home in order for it to be a successful move. But then finding this place and the way we have found this place was just beautiful, absolute high. Um, so, so many things that I, I would say were really high points and happy moments you know even this year uh, even though I look back and I just go like oh please don't uh, the whole time since we've moved here was just um and even though that is the overall feeling when I look at it when I zoom in it's just how we celebrated Christmas amongst the whole crap that was going on it was a really loving time actually mm. how the hoodie sale, how we've managed to do that. That was also a really good time. Um, flambeds, you know, <laughs> just like there's so many little things amongst the whole or within the whole carnage that have been so good and so happy. And we we've made such a massive commitment to finding the happy moments each mm. and every single day and just. If it's just a hug, if it's just a little laugh, if it's just consciously and very aware eating a good meal, like those are the happy times. So it's not just a happy time because in the big picture, I would say it was not a happy year. But when I actually look at it, there was so much happiness in it. And I feel like, you know, we, again, we've been in each other's lives what we needed to have the awareness of that happiness yeah i think generally i can only echo that i think um i've dealt with mental health a lot i've had a lot of lows like most of my life like i wouldn't say anything has been too unusual about this year in a sense that you know mental mm. health wise mm. but it's been more distressing because i've had somebody else basically being a part of that and seeing it which has been quite hard but what I so what I, what I'm trying to say is you know I look back at some trails where I've really struggled with my mental health and I just like I'm I never want to go back there kind of feeling, but then this 
other times I find it really easy to see the happy moments mm. and they are just what stands out and it's almost as though the struggle melts away. Yeah. And I think, you know, I find it really hard to sort of remember this year, certainly 2021 this year, but that, like, I don't find it hard to think of all those little things because mm. I think, you know, we could let the little happy moments subconsciously pass us by, like having a little dance in the kitchen, making pancakes, like eating good sweet potato, planting the first seeds. But because in the evening we take that time to reflect on them or in the mm. moment we say this is a they happy stick. moment. Yeah, yeah. we, we mm. a picture memory. Um, yeah, they stick. And that's what makes the difference is, and I think right now this is quite a happy moment because actually right now we're reaping the rewards of our conscious intention to celebrate the little things of life. Mm. This is what it's about. This is where it adds up is when you're going through the de- deepest, darkest depths of crap but you can still see there's light filtering through Mm. and you could focus on all the darkness that's around you or you can focus on the little cracks that are letting the light in Mm. and that's what we've been doing a bit of both granted but we always look at the light because it's all shiny and you know yeah Yeah. so yeah and we have to permit that at least you know you can't you can't be putting it bluntly miserable and depressed for 24 hours a day like give the light at least 15 minutes to come through well i think the thing is more the point is the light isn't always what you expect it to be Mm. i think no matter the situation you are in you can find light you will find there will be light if Mm. you look for it you just have to want to see it yeah and that's something that i've really learned and sometimes really annoys me (laughs) because you know when you're miserable and you just want to feel rubbish like there's always something that's like I'm not rubbish, look at me. Go away, I'm grumpy. (laughs) (laughs) Also, yes, this is the talks that go on in my head. (laughs) Nah, seriously, guys, you know, it's a a real privilege to be able to share this with you. Um, We want to say thank you for taking the time Mm. to actually listen to what we've got to say. This is a very personal journey. We're not just doing this because we can. We're doing this because we really want to, like we said at the beginning, create some kind of lasting, meaningful conversations help people feel connected with Mm. the real depth that is life because we don't do shallow (laughs) no we're exactly not not only the real depth that is life but also that is us Mm, exactly there's there's so much more than wild well this is what it you know i did a, a patreon live session um, a couple of weeks ago and talked about what it really means to stay wild and it is a way of life mm. it's it's an attitude it's a perspective it's a <clears> lens <throat> through which you see the world and maybe i'll dive into that in another video mm. but we are doing that because our values align and they are basically wild values so good yeah good i'm allowed to look at you in a loving way you are you just haven't <clears> done <throat> it on this series before oh sorry <laughs> can touch her in public can i touch you can i I, touch you (laughs) no this is a public space people don't want to see you there no i think there needs to be more love in the world love is love so there we go (laughs) thank you for watching guys have you said everything you need to say i think so thank you for watching and hit those hundred thousand likes (sighs) if we get a hundred thousand likes this is our biggest video i put a lot of work into those other videos (laughs) Because they're like this. What's love got, got to do? Got to do with it. What's love? But a second of emotion. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, stay, stay wild. wild. See you soon. <laughs>